Sometimes you get really, really lucky and have some crazy finds. And that's exactly what might have just happened today as I visited the Dollar General. This is the moment of truth right now. Let's see if this was worth it. Three, two, one. Oh! my drive home, I decided I'd stop at the Dollar General to see if they sell Pokemon cards. I went straight over to the checkout counter and immediately asked the employee if they had Pokemon cards. He was more than happy to start pulling them off of the shelves from behind the counter to let me see what they had. First off, I noticed a Snorlax and a Mimikyu tin, so I had to grab one of those. The loneliest darkness of Blaze pack in the world. Just one single sleeve pack. I grabbed that one as well. They had a ton of the Fusion Strike and Astral Radiance blister packs, so I decided to just grab one of those. And then this is the moment I realized I might have just found some of the oldest tins I've ever seen in a normal store in the year 2023. I quickly checked the back of these Kanto Friend tins and realized the date on the back was 2019. I instantly knew that there was the possibility that these could be stuffed with X and Y and Sun and Moon booster packs, so I had to grab three of them. But are these tins really four years old, or are we gonna get trolled harder than an entire pack filled with Mr. Mime? Only one way to find out. Alright, we're back. We got all the stuff here. There's a bunch of things and, you know, this was like the main thing that I'm really hoping has some craziness. These, I believe, were $9 a piece. I don't know if they ever reprinted these, but like, I'm not kidding. It says 2019 on the back. These are released in March of 2019, if these are the original ones, which means they're four years old. I'm going to put these to the side for now, and I think we're just going to start off with some of this stuff. And really quickly, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to give away every single card that I pull in today's video to one subscriber here on the channel. So if you'd like to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. Oh, it's on like Donkey Kong right now. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start off with the Lonely Darkness of Blaze pack, and we're going to slowly work our way up until we get to those mini tins. I, I don't know. It could be a big letdown. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys know, but it could be the originals. I don't think I've ever seen those in the wild. Um, but let's start off with this one. So this was actually $4. And yeah, that looks to be pretty spot on with the actual market price of these things. So pretty solid deal. Nothing too crazy, though. All right, let's see if the Loneliest Darkness of Blaze sleep pack in the world has an actual pull in it or not. So we got the Eternus pack arc on the inside here. Let's open this sucker up and let's see. Let's let's get warmed up here. Hopefully something good. So the code card's actually a good sign. But let's do four from the back on this one. Sword and Shield era. Let, we might be opening up like three or four different eras of Pokemon cards today from Dollar General, which would be kind of crazy to think about. But let's see what we can do. We got Cape of Toughness. We got the Nellites. Let's see if we get one big pull to start off this video. Come on. We got Shelmet. We got Nicket. And... A Toxtricity Hollow, not the worst in the world. All right, this is going to be nice. We got a Silver Tempest Checkout Lane Blister up next. I think this one was around $5, I want to say. So another one that's probably not too bad. But I will say this. It's called the Dollar General, but I spent a lot more than a dollar. I think for all this stuff, it was 60 bucks plus tax. So it was like close to $65 for all this stuff that we got here. But I mean, look, dude, it actually could be worth it if those tins that we got there are actually old school. But we got the best school in right here. We got our Jumbo Surfetched Coin. And then we have our Silver Tempest Booster Pack. Let's see if we get out of a Silver Tempest Pack. Can we get the Lugia? Can we get the Lugia here? Okay, so four from the back on this one. Dude, I can't stop thinking about those mini tins. Like, do you guys think they're going to have something good in them or what? Rufflet, Finnegan, Durant, Emolga, Beldum, Baltoy, Armado. All right, up next, we have the Mimikyu tin. Pokemon power is a knockout. So one in three foil cards, three booster packs, 2021 on the back of these. All right, let's keep it rolling here. See if we can get a big pull. So you get the guaranteed Mimikyu in here, but what packs do you get is the question. So Mimikyu, we got, we got our code card, the, mi the mighty mysterious tin Mimikyu. Oh, nice. Okay, starting off with the brilliant stars. We got a fusion strike, nice. And an evolving, oh my god, that's actually kind of fire. Yo, that's a pretty good deal. Evolving Skies packs are like $8 each. Alright, I lost my receipt. I had it in my hand and it's like just vanished. So I can't even compare the prices anymore. But I want to say this thing was probably, actually, I can't even say. I don't even know how much it was. All I know is I spent $60 total. The mini tins were 9 each. Uh, the Darkest Blaze pack was like 4 The checkout lane was 5 I could probably, cal actually, wait, I could, I could figure it out. Hang on. Let me do this pack first. Come on. Let's get the Evolving Skies pulls. That's good. Brilliant Stars and Evolving Skies in the same tin. That's solid. Love this. Gloss Flower Shopping Center. And Sharpedo. <laughs> okay, I, I could be wrong, but I want to say it was like $13 or $14 for that tin, which is a pretty good deal. It's a, it's a decent deal because Evolving Skies packs online are like, what, 
eight dollars each or something then brilliant stars is definitely kind of getting up there too come on brilliant stars give me something good shroomish people up halucha oh my god all right we got a fusion strike booster pack up next here come on see if we get something all right fusion you you got to save the day here you have the lowest pull rate but you got to save the day right now for our mini tin because our regular tin whatever kind of tin you want to call it that is a nice pack snare though snubble primate Oh my god, striking out on that tin. All right, this is the last item, and then we're going to see what we have in these mini tins. Okay, so here we go. Oh my, that is, that is crazy brittle plastic. That is ridiculous. That thing just snapped. All right, Astral Radiance. We got Zapdos Hollow in there. You're going to get all the birds. We got another Fusion Strike. We got the Moltres. We got... The Articuno, we got a code card, and then we got the Jumbo Coin. All right, the final two packs, and then we move on. Let's start off with Astral Radiance. Do you guys think that we're actually going to get craziness in those? Kind of nervous. I hope it's, I hope it is. I hope it is. Like, the thing is, I guess those would have been sitting around for so long. Like, in storage or, or in, like, a warehouse or something. Ooh, our first, finally, our first hit, Lilligan V. Come on, we're giving all these cards away, so we got to get some good pulls. Let's see if we get on our fusion. All right. Moment of truth is coming up after this one. What is going to be in those? All right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Zigzagoon, Mankey, Growlithe, Grimstarl, another, <laughs> another pull, Lucario V. All right. So we got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, and Eevee. I think we're going to go with Squirtle. All right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. So here's the back of these again. Two packs. These are old, okay? I mean, if these are the original release... I didn't even have a YouTube channel when these were released. Like, that's how old they are. So, you're talking, at this point, over four years ago. March 2019. But the question is, did they ever do these again? Or has these just been sitting around for so long? All right. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, all right. This is the moment of truth right now. Let's see if this was worth it. Ready? In three, two... What? Oh! oh my god. Oh, we got trolled so hard. Oh my god. These are not 2019. We got Fusion Strike. And we got Rebel Flash, which is actually kind of older. But there's no way that these are from 2019. Oh! Dang it! I thought that we had something crazy here. I really thought we had something crazy here. Squirtle and Magikarp? So they had to have redid these in what? Like 2021, I want to say, maybe? All right, well, we got Rebel Flash, which is kind of older. But we're definitely not... I mean, unless those other ones have something different, I doubt it. But we'll see. But we're probably looking at like 2021 on these. Ah, Dang it. And of course, we're getting all the pulls now. Another V. Three Vs in a row. I really thought. I really thought that we might have had something crazy there. But I guess I should have known better. To find that sitting around for that long, it's probably pretty tough. It's definitely not impossible, but especially when you're talking about the big chain places. Unless they had it sitting around like in the warehouse for years and they just kind of found it and then just started stocking the stores with them. That's probably the only chance of that happening. But it does happen. Just not in this case, I don't think. Oh, yeah, definitely not on this one. So we got the coin. We got our Eevee. And then we get Fusion Strike. And then an oh, another Rebel Clash. They were stuffing these with packs that they had sitting around. Definitely not 2019. Did I? Wait. Am I losing my mind or did I not just do the pack trick? Okay. Uh, or I mean the, the code card. Did that not have a code card? Oh, my. And that, look at, that was like messed up. Really bad. What happened with this pack? Was there a code card? Sometimes I don't know because I'm just like, it's like tying your shoes. You just, I just keep doing it and then I just, yeah, something got messed up there. What? Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. For rare? Okay. I don't know. I'll have to watch the replay on that. There's a code card in this one. <laughs> something happened there. It was either me. I don't think it was me though. I guess we'll see on the replay. We got Meowth, Caterpie, Corsola, Litwick, Shake, Strike and a Seismic 2. Well, Bulbasaur, it all comes down to you, buddy. We've only gotten V cards today. 
and hollows. All right, well, we tried, and we can maybe end it with a couple of pulls. Let's see if we get lucky enough to get some cool stuff here. But either way, it's always cool to find Pokemon cards out in the wild. You never know what you're going to find. Today was not our day, I don't think, in terms of pulls or good deals or anything like that. But we tried. All right, well, we got one final pull for today's video. Hopefully, we can end it with something here. That would be nice to get at least something. <laughs> something better than a V would be, would be nice. Huh? So we didn't get our Sun and Moon or X and Y packs. We haven't gotten too many pulls, just a handful of Vs. We didn't, yeah, it's just, let's see. Oh my god, and we got another error. What is happening? We're getting so many error packs. Electabuzz common, another Electabuzz common, more Peko, and another. <laughs> okay.